Hello everyone, good afternoon. Um, we are from the RA Research Group Philippines. Uh, so my name is Michelle, and our content here with Rex Halau. Um, together with us as well from the group is Rowan, Ira, and Arnold. So this is our first time uh, to participate in, in a PyCon. And we're very excited to introduce our Everyone, assuming that we're all by Pikonistas. Or, no, okay, bigla. Okay, okay, pala pala tayo. <laughs> so, just this is show of fans before we start. Has anyone uh, who has heard of R? You've heard of R. Um, have you? <laughs> who has used R? Ah, uh, okay, so you somehow started with R. Um, and then Python, who quotes in Python? Ah, so the agenda for today is for us to introduce R to everyone and how and why we're here essentially. Why are why is R at the Python conference? Uh, we are mostly uh, most of us are practitioners in the field of analytics and data science, and, and R is uh, is one of the popular fields in, in data science. So um, we're here to to just show you what R is in the, at least in, from the eyes of someone who knows Python and we'll do a hands-on session in R. So we'll start with a very, very basic um, R programming and then uh, just, just let us know if, if we're, you know, we have some limitations in terms of um, internet connection and bandwidth and so on. So let's, let's just try to maximize the session and feel free to ask questions about it. Okay, so um, so again, we're from the R Users Philippines and we would like to... Am I... Next. Next. <laughs> okay, so Python and R both are um, open source programming languages. Both are also popular tools for data analysis, machine learning, and data science. Um, however, so the major difference is at least how they are generally used. Python uh, needs to be integrated. Um, it's for data analysis that needs to be integrated with web apps and uh, if you want to deploy your statistical codes in a production database. While R is mostly done, uh, typically standalone. So these are really made for statisticians. So they're, they're usually working on a standalone environment. Uh, Python is also a full-fledged programming language and it's for general purpose, not only for data analysis. While R is built for, it's a statistical programming language for data analysis. That's, that's its primary purpose. Uh, and then lastly, if your work is closer to an engineering environment, um, more likely uh, that um, Python is more of like, a more software for, for you. While if you work with statistics, research, and data science, then R is maybe uh, a better fit in terms of um, what you're looking for for data analysis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, just getting this from DataCamp, uh, in terms of history, R and, and then Python over there. So the creators of R, and of course, you know, the creators of Python. So R came from, uh, was invented in New Zealand in 1993, 1995. And um, you will not know, interview about R is that it was based on a language called S. Um, and it's it's really, it's design and evolution is handled by a core group. And it's, it's, um, it's an R foundation. And the uh, software environment was written primarily in C, Fortran, and, and then it is R. For Python, uh, since you know Python more, no? so it's it's also uh, being maintained by PSF, so Python Software Foundation. And uh, with R, it's a group of uh, statisticians mostly who are contributing uh, the packages inside, inside R. Uh, and the primary purpose of R is to uh, focus on better user-friendly data analysis, statistics, and graphical models, uh, while Python emphasizes on productivity and readability. So it's a very, uh, we'd, we'd have to say that it's a user-friendly or um, programmer-friendly or um, language. Okay, so how in Python, how Python and R work together? So from, from their stats in 2014, um, the coders in R, so they can use 23% uh, of them in school languages. So you can see that uh, we're just highlighting that they can coexist. It's not necessarily you know, that they're, um, you have to choose one over the other. But 
um, the reasons for for this co for this coexistence is that uh, when you want to use the, the strength of Python for um, data ma manipulation, data aggregation, and, and your prep work essentially for, for data analysis and science, um, that's how they can work together. So the strength still of, of R is statistical analysis. Uh, all the packages that you may have thought of, maybe for interest modeling or maybe uh, sports analytics, they're already just calling, it's a matter of calling a package in R. While in Python, of course, it's, it has different types of functions, but it is not necessarily of statistical analysis. Okay, so why learn R if you already know Python? So Python is uh, 2017 in France, is the top, uh, top language um, from the spectrum of all the other programming languages in the world, and uh, R is number six. Okay, so may mga limitations in terms of how, how you can use it, how you can deploy it. Deploy it, and R is really more easy based. So that's how. That's also how it was created. It was not really meant for big deployments uh, until very recently, when the other um, the big software vendors like um, Oracle, for example, even Duplo and other all these software vendors, they've started to uh, come out with um, compatibility and integration integration tracks for for R models. So this this is uh, becoming more and more um, in the top ten. Uh, it's been consistently the top ten uh, programming languages in the world. And uh, in, in terms of just analytics alone for data science and machine learning, uh, R continues to be in the top two. So consistently in the top two. So together with, of course, Excel here is considered also as an analytics tool. I'm enjoying it. Because there are Excel. But R language is still uh, very high there in the top two. So these are just um, in terms of um, how it fares in the market and how many people are using it for which purpose. Um, R is very worthy to, to look at, to consider, especially if you're uh, into the researches and, and statistics. Okay, so and an R will continue to grow as we see in the grant. So this is where um, it's the, the package that we have and continues to be developed. Since 1993, when it was uh, just a research project, in up to I think this was even up to yesterday updated. Now, now this is the number of packages that's available. So it is now 14,000 uh, packages available. Uh, I think when we started using it, it was just 10,000 packages. So there's a lot of people who contributed, and the ones who curated the packages are those statisticians and you know doctor degrees and everything. So they're really after the, the sanctity of you know the science behind the, the packages, not necessarily the elegance of the code, we have to admit. So as they say, Python is really, you know, maybe Unix scripters were the ones who invented Python. Uh, that's why you know it's very simple and, and, and readable and everything, while R was developed by statisticians. So I think that's not saying a lot, but <laughs> as that's how you should you should see um, R as well. So for us, why, why do we use R, uh, particularly for, for us you know, when, we, when we practice um, in our space in analytics and data science? These are use cases delivered in R just to show you what it can do, the capabilities. And these have been implemented for real life customers. And with just open source software, it, it, you can see how uh, impactful it is in businesses when we implement it for them. So just for these simple, simple plots, so these are visualizations that you can um, you can um, get an output of using R. These are even basic ones, because they are static for most of them. But for a statistician, we already get a lot of insights just by looking at box plots like these, and um, you know, scatter plots and, and these types of uh, geographical um, geographical maps. So, so um, it, what it what it does is it's enough for a statistician or the scientist to consume because what, what you want to know is, for example, here you, you can plot out what the best possible store locations are. You have you have some sort of uh, color coding or heat map, so to speak. When it's darker, then it has uh, it's a, it has a higher score of being a, a better store location. And then the, this network was actually built with Twitter data, so R can also connect to Twitter data, parse it, and then find. You know who your who the most influential uh, people are with, within uh, the social media network, and then in, in this particular use case, it's uh, identifying potential brand ambassadors uh, who talk about the particular um, brand. 
um, and in here, so this is actually plotting the number of uh, packages delivered on weekends and on the weekdays, just to see possible um, correlations of you know if, if you want to if you want to predict if um, the courier company can actually meet their targets to deliver certain packages, does the day of week affect that? So and then of course other factors were plot the same way, uh, but these were used to study this uh, and come up with a prediction. So this is another uh, this is another visual, very simple lang, nothing very fancy, but this is enough to illustrate how uh, if you just want to mark, this is pretend that this is actually uh, a map. It's not actually pretend. In the lady day of it, it's the shape files and uh, it, it plots out where the possible dig sites can be where there is um, uh, parang malaking capacity for geothermal energy. So that's uh, the project is predicting the capacity of wells where people can actually drill, drill more, and then they will not drill if there's not a lot of fuel uh, or energy that's going to, going to come out. So there are many use cases, obviously, different industries, many applications of data science and analytics. So we just want to share with you how R can be this powerful, even if it's a uh, free software. And I think, having said that, it's, uh, hopefully if you see that it's worth it then. To, to consider when uh, learning a new language, it's particularly if you're in Okay, any questions so far um, on R and what we can do? Okay, so this is just a high-level introduction of, of R, and hope uh, that we got your interest a bit to, to even stay on. And because the next part is um, hands-on session for uh, with with Professor Rex Halau, and he will show you the actual. Uh, environment. Okay, thank you. And this is the rough case. Mm -hmm. Alright, so uh, good afternoon. Guys, so I'm Rex. Um, I, uh, I'm also a volunteer like Michelle here for the RHS group. Okay, but basically, um, for those of you who have uh, just uh, come in, um, please connect to this. Uh, Network, uh, and her forever. So well, it is provided by. Who is it? Okay. Then you open a password that is Steve Python. So um, we will be needing to connect to this uh, web server. Basically, it's a um, Jupyter notebook uh, slide. That uh, you can utilize one of these uh, usernames and okay. log in uh, through uh, Jupyter. Okay, so um, can I give a show of hands so I was able to successfully log in? Who would like to, who hasn't gone through the process yet? I know. Any extra extension cards for power? Um, okay, and anything else? So basically, this should uh, dapat yung niya. Okay. So you see the Jupyter uh, notebook. Uh, basically, uh, so, pepe, wala kayo naman. this is the main. This is the main. Uh, the main slide for uh, the main page for Jupyter. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, sure. You can also do that. Uh, just make sure. Um, I don't know if uh, the panelists are installed in your in your library, but the very least you can just try to connect to this uh, website. Okay. So let me first uh, introduce R. Okay. <coughs> All right. So um, basically, for this. With training, let's go to three major topics. Uh, I'll just talk about R. Okay? May I also introduce R Studio if you want to do it uh, offline. If you want to do it uh, with more important case of I. <laughs> just try to download it and you can simply uh, start doing codes. Okay? Then let's do data types and operators. That's the case study online. And uh, take reading, manipulating, and basically writing data in R. Okay? So again, R is an integrated suite of software facilities for data manipulation, calculation, and graphical display. 
Yes, Ma'am Michelle said it's really about um, statistical analysis or data science uh, algorithm analysis here in uh, this system. Okay? It's an effective data handling and storage facility, a suite of operators for cartridges arrays, in particular matrices. So the core uh, algorithms in R are based on linear algebra. Okay, so um, if you're if you recall the solution to a linear regression equation is x transpose x inverse x transpose y. So yung line sa code ni R isang line lang yun. But kung sa, uh, sa Python, maraming lines of code pa yun. Okay? So in essence, yung core functionalities ni R is really based on linear algebra. Vectors, matrices, vector operations, vector calculus, and so on and so forth. Okay? <coughs> It's a large coherent ingrained collection of intermediate tools for data analysis. Okay. As Ma'am Michelle have said, we have around 14,000 packages. You can simply choose a package. There's a package for Excel pivot table. There's an, a package for uh, dashboard design. There's a package for time series analysis, for forecasting. Um, and uh, a lot of other packages. Okay, you name it, R has it. So, okay, it has also a lot of graphical facilities for data analysis. It has lots of intelligent displays, intelligent defaults. So, if you plot this data, it will automatically be in a scale, and it will be given an automatic colors. Okay. It's a very simple and effective language called S. Okay, you are pala yung sabi ng Rex. So many people use R as a statistics system. So basically use R for an ad hoc processing. Okay, so you are, konti pala nagkita ko na R na for production, na parang yun talagang ginagamit everyday. See, everyday na ginagamit, but iba-iba yung problems ang sinasolve. Okay, we use Python to come up with production system. Uh, solutions. Okay, so para every day, if you click mo lalabas yung report. Okay, R is basically ad hoc. Para hindi na lang di boss sa yon. Oi Rex, pagawa mo na report to bago na ano? Uh, I need to know uh, the number of uh, customers per area na not supermarkets, for example. So in Burgon, uh, Robinsons, and SM, okay, by region. Okay, so, so, kung wala pang report na ganun dati, or hindi kaya ng existing system na yun, we sometimes use, start with R, okay, to come up with that uh, report. And kung everyday na hindi isa yun, then we automate that using other programming languages. Okay, so basically R is just an ad hoc reporting uh, tool. Okay, ad hoc analysis tool. Okay, so modern environment with classical and modern statistical techniques has been implemented from linear regression from 1940s up until random forests in the 2000s. Okay, kasama dyan si R. Uh, there are about 25 packages called standard relevant packages that are available when you download R to your system or kung install niya sa Jupyter. Okay, so R does, does data handling and storage through numeric and textual data. It has lots of matrix algebra, uh, lots of tables and expressions, high-level analytic and statistical functions, and it can support basic programming tools. It may only if, then, else, uh, loops, subroutines, and even functions, so R. Okay, and lots of graphics and even dashboards. Okay, R is not a database, so it's not a data, but it can connect to DBMSS. Make just simply uh, give the, the the IP address, the password, and the original name and password of the account to query data, then it's it. You're not connected to a database. Okay? To query information. Okay? It, uh, R is not a spreadsheet, so basically, mahirap you visualize your data sa R, but you can get data from spreadsheets, from CSV files, even Excel files, and import it to R. Okay? Again, uh, like, uh, as well as Python is no professional and commercial support. Okay? But uh, and uh, available online na help. Like how to do matrix transpose in R. Maraming ka lalabas. Okay? So just go to Google. Maraming lalabas dyan na uh, code. Uh, I, I for myself, I don't uh, recall all the functions in R. I go to Google. Okay? Transpose matrix. 
T of Rila. <laughs> the Rila, right? So again, it's free and open source, a strong user community, highly extensible and flexible, uh, has high implementation of high SLSL methods and flexible graphics and intelligent defaults. Okay? It has uh, basically a steep learning curve. Um, for those of you who have done programming, it's a bit difficult. But uh, for those of you who are experienced programmers, it's a bit difficult. And very slow for very large databases. But there, uh, ngayon nang improve na yung uh, uh, languages ni R and, and na over na ngayon yung mga weakness. Okay? Now, uh, uh, for those of you who want to do ad hoc analysis or PCs, okay, R Studio is a very uh, powerful first IDE that you try to to download, okay? So, uh, yung problema sa Python ang dami kasi ng IDE. Sa, sa R, isa lang, R Studio. Okay? So, when you talk about uh, R programming language, una na yung is R, which is a programming language, in R Studio yung yung GUI. Yeah, yung IDE. So, uh, wala lang kayong ibang hanap, yung pag-iba, si R Studio na. Yung, uh, if you want to, to <laughs> parang outer uh, domain ako. So if you if you want to start uh, your R education, this is a good starting tool. Okay? And hanggang ngayon, ginagamit ko siya pang racket ko. Okay, so let's simply go to R, uh, to rproject.org through the CRAN uh, website. Okay? And let's simply select the latest R version. Okay? This was R Studio. Uh, just sim uh, iba yung uh, location niya. You can just simply download that. Okay. However, you need to install R first before R Studio. They had up in R Studio, you install the R. Okay? So R is an expression language, a very simple syntax. It's case sensitive, so capital A and small a are different symbols, and we refer to different variables. Okay, so medyo maar kasi si R dyan. Okay? And the set of symbols can be used in R and names depends on the operating system. So basically all alpha numeric symbols are allowed, plus a dot and an underscore. With the restriction that the name must start with a dot or a letter if it starts with a dot. Oh, sorry. The second character must also be a digit. Okay? And names are effectively adopted <coughs> in length. Okay? So let's keep this. So basically, ito yung intro ng R Studio. Okay? So, um, para tayo na yung Jupiter. So here we code. Ito yung console. This is where the results will be shown. Yung maganda sa R Studio, you can view its environment. So, Yung environment na kita mo kung ano yung mga data na i-report ninyo. Ano yung live data. Okay, tapos dito, yung plots. Okay, so ito yung basically four panels that you are to usually work sa R Studio. Okay? For working directory, ito sa R Studio to, so for us, hindi siya applicable. But in essence, the working directory is just where R will look for uh, files and do manipulations. Okay, so, um, para lang sa MATLAB din yun eh, kung saan may, kung saan yung working director kailangan mo siya isip. Okay? So, sa R and sa Jupiter, it's, uh, do, for us to execute code, it's just to simply highlight and click on run. Ganun rin sa Jupiter. So, if we, if you do, if we're to do coding later, and if I tell you to run the code, just highlight those codes and click on run. Or just simply, kung saan kayo terminal, lahat ng, ano na yun, nasa load ng terminal and if you click on run, all lights will be executed. Okay? So, ito na yung shortcut for working directory. Okay, now, um, let's go to the first commands. Alright? So, uh, when we talk about R, there are two types of commands. Okay? Either it's to be an assignment or an expression. Okay? So, when you say an expression, if express is given as a command, it's evaluated, printed, and the value is lost. Okay, for example, if you type 2 plus 3, that is an expression. So, it execute me R yun. Tapos, ipapakita niya 5. Diba ba? 2 plus 3. That's 5. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan, 2 plus the 5 result will be lost forever. It will, it will not be saved anywhere. Okay? The second type of command is an assignment. It also evaluates an expression, but the, ver the value is saved to a variable. So x equals 2 plus 5. So that is an assignment. 
you're assigning the value of 2 plus 3 into x. So ngayon, si x has a value of 5 and it will be saved. Nabubuhay kasi si x. Unless i-close mo yung, yung Jupiter, wow, well, malak si x doon. Okay? So commands are I separated either by a semicolon or a new line and for if you want to co comment mm -hmm. out a uh, command, just put the hashtag. Hashtag in boom line na yun will be comment. Okay? And, and then there comes, can be grouped together into compound expressions by braces. And if a command is not complete, at the end of the line, R will have a different prop. By default, plus the second, and subsequent lines will continue to read input until the command is practically complete. <coughs> okay? So let's try to do this. Okay? So <coughs> let's go to the Jupyter web website. Okay, so get you into the dapat ng mga video. Okay, Jupiter. So at the very least, let's start off with new R, new notebook R. Okay. Everybody follows. DC. 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 Can do next. Uh, yeah, the firewall, uh, we will not be able to uh, use it using a firewall. So, kindly connect to this, peanut butter forever, uh, and then the password team by con. That's the one. That's the one. Ayo pala Yeah, you have Jupiter installed. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try. Let's try the basics, lang mo na. No packages, no nothing. Let's do our old fashioned. Okay. So for those who have Jupiter, just click on New R. And then ito yung dapat nalabas. So the titled one, Jupiter Notebook. Do we have this? Kaya sa old Jupiter din yun. Okay, let's try it. Mas ayaw ko, mas R2. Okay, so before you connect, pakita ko na lang yung R2. So this is basically R2. Okay? Alright, so... Yung R2 basically is a complete ID. It's open source, it's free. So you can simply download it. Okay. So if you talk with Jupiter, para yung halak siya. Okay. So for the for our first commands, please type these slides of codes. Okay. In Jupiter. Right. So copy it as exactly. So. So hashtag, this is a comment that hashtag, hashtag expression 2 plus 3, hashtag assignment, x equals 2 plus 3, print assignment x. Are you able to? Are you able to? Are you able to? Okay, so okay, can you download R? 
Let's do this. Let's do this. The old fashioned way. Bala may kante yung pai ko. You can correct sa itang na ano. Bala. Ano sa pai ko? Okay, so let's connect to the Python website. Ay Academy Python. Uh, ito. I forgot the password. Password na? Yeah. Alam mo kasi, uh, ito may internet to eh. So, so let's go. Let's search for our installer, uh, Google. <laughs> you know? So first step is to download R. So kindly download this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. The other thing you need to download is our studio. So I just ask one for other person. So yeah, it's free uh, our studio desktop. The installers. Okay. So there are two things we need to download R and R Studio. So while we are installing and downloading it, uh, let me just show you some uh, some code and then some of the results. Okay. So um, we'll go through this uh, later. The basically this is what we call an, an elementary <coughs> command. Okay. So if you type this in R, okay, everything na may hashtag ay comment. Okay? Now this is what we call again an expression. So in 2 plus 3, i-evaluate ni R yung first, uh, yung lalabas niya ay 5. So para hindi ko para sa basic and online calculator. Na parang ask them, you know, tapos i-execute niya yun, tapos lalabas yung result. So the, the problem here with an expression is that next, that value will be lost forever. Okay? <laughs> Ibig sabihin yan, it will not be saved anywhere. The, on the other hand, we have another type of uh, command called an assignment. Here, 2 plus 3 is assigned to the value, to the container variable x. Tapos, yung x na yun, nasa environment na. Okay? If you want to view the value of x, you just simply type x and you run it. Lalabas si 5. Okay? So, ganito yung itsura sa R. So, in essence, um, uh, you can also group the commands into uh, using curly braces. And this is an example of an incomplete command. So, dito, x minus uh, equals 1 minus, so, para siyang paasa. It's an incomplete command. It means that it will not be executed. Because hanapin ni R, 
ang command na syntactically complete. So, mag-error. Hindi siya mag-error. Maghihintay lang siya ng input until makompleto niya yung itong expression na ito. Okay? Now, uh, so, ganito yung mga itsura niya sa console. Okay? So, those are examples. Okay? So, um, packages are primitive functions that augment the basic functionality so far. Okay? Currently, the CRAN uh, package more than 40,000 na. So, hindi ko pa na-update yung <laughs> slides ko. Okay? More than 40,000 available packages. And to install a package, you must be just simply connected to the internet. Okay? Install that package name of package and the library name of package. Okay? So, if you want to augment the functionality of R, let's say you want to implement a dashboard using R. Down the package. If you want to do time series analysis, down the package. If you want to do um, Jupyter, or I'm sorry, uh, R, a Python in R, pwede yun. May package for that. Parang ano, parang, uh, parang App Store. There's an app for that. <laughs> okay? So the simple command to install package is simply get the name of the package and run it. So you only need to install the package once, but you need to load that package every time you want to run the code. Okay? So yun lang yung caveat niya. Okay? Questions? So let me demonstrate it na lang sa, sa R Studio, like all of this code. Para <coughs> uh, tuloy-tuloy tayo. Uh, we'll be sharing the notes naman, so at the very least, you can try it at home. Okay? <coughs> For your analysis. So, uh, let me show you our studio. So, ito yung intro ng our studio. So, you can simply type anything dito sa, um, sa scripting panel. Okay? So, let's say I would type hashtag uh, bicon2018. So, if you run this, wala mangyayari sa baba. Okay? So it's just a comment. Okay? So let's say I want to do the expression uh, 2,000 plus, ganyan. Then I will get the result dito sa baba. Okay? So instantaneous yung uh, analysis. As compared sa Python, kailangan mo, i-compile muna, then run. Dito sa R, just simply run a line of code, then you get the result instantaneously. Okay? If you want, uh, so again, this is sim this is simply an exp uh, expression, okay. And if you want to simply uh, uh, save the data, okay. So let's say x equals this plus that. So the the value of x na la okay. So the x in essence x is equal to these two uh, uh, values summed up, okay. Tapos, kung gusto nila titingnan yung value ng x printed dito sa baba, just simply type x and click on run. And then, yun yung lalabas yung value, the same sa environment. Okay? Questions so far? Dito sa commands? Okay, and if I want, uh, again, another command that I showed to you is install that packages let's say uh, the pivot table analysis the shape package okay just need to be connected to the internet to download that information okay and automatically r will install that package okay there that was to load that package just call library the shape 2 then there it will be loaded Okay? Questions? Kaya na? Ito isa. Okay? Questions? Sir, open source ba yan? Yes, oo, open source. Libre siya, yes, libre. Sir, mabilis, mabilis. <laughs> Sir, ano yung limit ng R? The limit will be the RAM na PC. So, in essence, if you have uh, 8 gig of uh, RAM, theoretically, you can minus the RAM for your OS, so mga say 6 gig. So, you can process 6 gig data sa RAM because i-import ni R, ilalagay niya sa RAM, tapos kaya mabilis si R, ipoprocess niya sa RAM. 
hindi ay hindi pa po sa hard disk. Okay, so the, the limit of R would be the machine itself. So sa so Excel, we know the limit there is 1 million rows. Sa so R, the machine's the limit. Okay? Questions? <coughs> Yes, that's just like it. Yeah, go ahead, yes. We're going to learn about showing pretty graphs. Yes. Uh, let's, uh, let's simply plot. Uh, let's say I have uh, an X variable to be composed of five digits. Um, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> then Y is also uh, another, let's say, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So let's say I have two, uh, two variables. So now let's, this is now a multi-valued vector. Sorry. So now I've declared Y to be a vector of, sorry, to buy you. You length, yeah. Okay, so let's say I have these two vectors, x and y, and let's say this corresponds to uh, coordinates. Okay, so x is a vector of size 6, 1, 2, 3, in value, niya ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The y is a vector, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, tapos composed of uh, values 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Let's say these. The first one co uh, co corresponds to one coordinate point. Okay, and let's say simply plot these two. So let's say let's plot y by x. And lalabas is dito sa baba. Ulit natin. Yeah, plot. That's a simple plot. Okay, tapos uh, say color i green. Tapos let's say. LTY equals 1. Yeah. Um, let's say uh, I forgot. Anyways, but uh, at the very least, this is the comma. So let's say let's add uh, a comment na sample plot. Okay. So in essence, you're adding commands to a specific plot. Okay. Uh, again, you're not you're not using any advanced. You will be using advanced packages. Because this is the built-in package in R. So there are advanced packages like in ggplot, as I've been uh gives us more, um, I don't know, more, yeah, more graphically pleasing <laughs> plots. Ito kasi isa-isahin mo, color, margin, size ng fonts, and so on and so forth. Okay? But also, what's the progress in R? Nakapag-download na ba kayo? The R? For the first time, for every Yeah. So in essence, uh, the very we're here to jumpstart your R. Uh, ano, okay. Um. The tuto ako sa R using Google. <laughs> How to translate the matrix. Ganun. How to start R. <laughs> Ganun. Um, I learned R through self self service. <laughs> the, ano, and um, Google really helped me a lot. Yung 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 mahirap na sa R in starting. Kasi mahirap to is simulan eh. Na ano parang you have to know how to run how to type code and how to run individual code. Then uh, madali mo siya i-extend eh. Kung gusto mo talaga matuto, madali siyang uh, madali mo siyang i-extend. Okay, again, I can give you the, uh, the slides, okay? That if we extend our topics mamaya, okay, we will be talking about variables. Okay? 
Then vector. So, so basically, ito yung vector na ginawa kanina. So uh, vector is just a column uh, set of data. Okay, one column na uh, using what we call the C command or the concatenate command. So that's uh, basic. Tapos, yung maganda sa R uh, is that you uh, can do a lot of vector arithmetic. Okay? For example, I want to have uh, a Z which is equal to X plus Y. Okay? Sorry, small y. So, ibig sabihin niya, si z is just a function of this plus uh, each individual values of x and y. So, um, instead of ilulook mo isa-isa, dito sa r, isang command lang. <clears throat> Because kaya siya vector-based commands. Okay? So, for example, I want to get the mean of x. So, I'll just say mean of x. So, the mean of x is 3.5. So, hindi siya parang isa-isa na parang x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 plus x6 divided by the length of x to be 6. <coughs> Dito is just one command at all. Yun yung parang na nailab ako sa R. Instead of doing loops, in doing uh, vector based, uh, instead of doing it individually, may mga default parameter CR na vector based. Kaya yung yung ano niya, yung core uh, commands niya ay linear algebra. Talaga. Questions? Yes, sir. Uh, how to get started with linear algebra? <laughs> uh, um, actually, those are, this is a, it's a, it's a entire course itself, but in essence, you think of the data that you have as either a column or as a matrix, okay? You operations mo sa, 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 sa R is on a vector or matrix operations. Okay? So, ibig sabihin yan. Let's say dito. X plus Y. X is a vector. Y is a vector. Hence, C will also be a vector. Okay? So, yun lang yung sasabi natin sa, sa R. Instead of manually specifying the, the compiler to be X1 plus Y1, X2 plus Y2, it's just a single command. Okay? Uh, linear algebra is a parang so it's mathematical uh, course. <laughs> medyo, ano siya, uh, uh, medyo, ano siya, no split. <laughs> But, yung, dito sa R, pinapamadaling niya. Okay? It makes us easy for us to compile. Okay? Questions? So, you also maganda dito sa R is that you can um, you can create functions. The same sa programming. Okay? You can also create uh, loops, if then else statements. It's, it's all the same. Okay? <coughs> Let's go to some examples. Okay? So this is an example of an if then else statement. So let me copy it again. So if I run this, you can run R one at a time. So x, let's say x is now equal to four. Okay. If I run this, if x is greater than three, then y equals ten. Otherwise, y equals zero. So if I run these lines of code, my y would be ten because zero is a maximum. Uh, yes. Why did you um, assign the equal like uh, less than uh, dash instead of equals in line number ten? Yeah. Why not? It's an arrow. Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. Why it is not equal? It's the same. It's the same. So if arrow is um, uh, mga hardcore R na ano, uh, yun yung ginagawa. 
our row. If it's a B lang yan, 10 is assigned to Y. It's the same as 4. So kung i-gagawin pa siyang equals, it will still be the same. Okay. Paano lang yung, yung, yung purpose niya? Equal signs for hipsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's the, ano, kung tinatamad ka mag-dalawang, ano, eh di mag-equals ka lang. Isang, isang character lang yun. So it, it, it will still be the same. Okay, so let's say uh, this is an example of our art code. Okay, let's do. Uh, let's say I want a uh, I want to declare a new function. Okay, so function square this. Okay? So, for example, that function will take in a number, tapos i-return ko yung number tapos si square. Okay? Tapos in yung i-return. So, let's say I have a new function, I want to declare this, and I want to make this code reusable. So, if I uh, if I register this function, meron na akong function dito sa environment ko na square this. So, if I if I run this, so square this, square of 1 is 1. And if I square, if I call the function 4, 16, if I square this, get 144. Okay? So in essence, it, it, you can create a lot of functions, and then you can call that function, and then you can get the, uh, more usable code here. So R. <coughs> yes? Can you, uh, instead of number 12, can you just put the Square this four and say the uh, square this. It's like an step. So you're saying square this, square this, square this. Yeah, square this, square this four. Yes, you can. <coughs> because the output of square this is also a. It's not possible then. Yeah. So because the output of this is a is a decimal, uh, it's a number. So the input of this now is also be a number. You can also declare y equals square this, that was uh, call square this of y. <coughs> so, yeah. Let me invalid. 256 square. Okay? Questions? Okay, so let me show you one of the uh, other things that bakit gusto namin si R. It's really data manipulation. Okay? <coughs> so let's say, uh, uh, dito sa data manipulation, there are, meron yung base yung R, pero meron yung mga advanced packages. Okay, so I'll be using the deployer package. Okay? And I'll be using the, uh, the flight state, uh, a flight data set. So the flight data set basically is a list of all flights na pumunta at lumabas ng New York ng 2013. Okay, so I want to say summarize that data set. Okay. okay so uh, let me here. Let me run this code. Okay, so basically I have, uh, I created a data frame called delete, which is equal to the flights data set coming from this library. And I, I would like to calculate the, the speed of the flights, distance over air time, and basically how much gain I got in terms of kung napaaga yung flight ko. Okay. So the, the, the delayed data set, uh, if we view ko siya, Okay. So here we have one row per flight. Okay. Tapos automatically siya yung 
itong gain speed and gain per hour, siya automatically na compute. Okay, for 300,000 rows. So, ganun siya kabilis. Okay? With, uh, so, if we look at the flights data set, Okay? So, uh, 300,000 rows itong data set na ito. Okay? And, uh, as you can see, walang, walang, walang speed dun sa dulo. <coughs> Basically, I just declared uh, speed to be equal to distance traveled divided by air time, which is in minutes times 60 per hour, to get uh, the delayed function to be uh, miles per hour, basically. So on average, this flight that departed on January 1, 2013, uh, has a speed of 370 miles per hour. Okay? As you can see, instead of looping through individual rows, you just specify one, co one command, then lahat ng rows gagawin niya yan, automatically, without going through loops. Okay, yun yun, isang advantage of PR. It's hindi siya cursor based na pag loop, it's basically set based, parang SQL. It's a set, it, as a set niya buo yung process. Kaya siya mabilis. Okay? So let me show you another plotting function. Saan ko lang galing yung data source nyo? Uh, usually sa library po siya. Uh, usually, it needs to be download the data. Marami uh, po kami lang po si Arda. You can also load it through uh, read that CSV. Kasi ito, meron CSV file. Uh, yeah, you can also do that. Let me show you. Uh, let's say, punta sa mga racket to. Sa class ko nila. <laughs> sa class ko nila, mga maanaman sa ano. <laughs> Uh, data set. Okay. Okay. So let's say I'm I'm interested in uh, in this delivery time data set. Okay. So nandito ako sa uh, folder na nandito yung delivery time at CSV. For example. I want to put this into R. Okay? <coughs> so the command to that would be So let me clean up my environment muna. So I'll just say read uh, uh, delivery time data equals read that CSV the delivery time that CSV. So automatically pass of schedule. Yes. How about if the uh, the data inside the delivery time is that uh, is better? You want to be like, for example, the date. It is not a date. Uh, oh, uh, you have to, um, una ilit mo siya, then sa kung siya parse sa R. May mga commands naman. But uh, kung na detect niya date siya, malibis yung column na yun. It di declare niya sa date. Yun yung mga sa R para. Kung ano yung column, so let's say, if you look at <coughs> usually yung delivery times, yung data na to. Uh, so let me open that. Okay? Usually, pag mag-read si R ng CSV file, uh, yung first line ay usually the name of the column. Okay, so ganun yung ano. Tapos, one row per entry. Ando sa baba. So, yung maganda sa R is that if you read this data, automatically share na yung mag-determine. Okay, del time is numeric. And cases as integer, distance is integer. Okay? Share na yung automatic. R would be the auto would automatically identify the data type of that specific column. So, you don't have to do anything else. So, plot. Yeah, so yeah, let's plot this. 
So let let us plot the delivery time data. Uh, let's say I would like to plot del time versus number of cases. So if I run this, okay. So uh, this is my simple scatter plot. Okay, I plotted uh, n cases by delivery time. So as you can see, as delivery time increases. Sorry, as in the number of cases you deliver, the delivery time for that order also increases. So there's a, some positive relationship between those two variables. Questions? Command. <coughs> right? So planted. Planted no Um forgot the code, let's say let's go back to my notes. Uh, here. Uh, type is O. So just simply add type is O. Yeah, so um the you ibaplat niya kasi is yung based position ng ano. So uh let's go back to you my previous example and then simply plot this. There. Okay? Simple like that. Um, <laughs> good question. <laughs> Sometimes I know uh, the things that we may mga line type pa dito, uh, LTY. Line type LTY equals 1. Meron din. Dotted at I3. May mga mistake yan. Yun. The line type, dotted. So, you can simply self uh, put commands in there and you can customize the, your your view <coughs> in help is very uh, uh, helpful <laughs> and though uh, again I, I, I do not uh, pretend I know everything help I go to Google that's how I learned until now. Okay? But I know at the very least the basics. Okay? It's for me to jump start my uh, so R. Okay? So let me open. Uh, uh, let me show you ggplot. So, so ito yung ggplot. Um, say an advanced library for plotting. Anyways, get to each one of It should look like something like that. Okay, so if we graph the delays of the plot, okay, so this is an example of a ggplot output. So show you, if a plot niya lahat ng 300,000 points, tapos the size of the, um, ito, ito. The size of the circle this shows us the number of uh, flights within that region. Okay, so let's say ito. Uh, as you, if the distance 
na um, uh, let's say to go away from uh, to leave from New York as he increase from zero to let's say 750 to matas yung delay from probability <coughs> Pag long flight na, wala, medyo on average, mga 5 to 10 minutes yung delay ng mga flights. Okay? So this is an example of the journey plan visualization. Okay? Questions? <coughs> yes? So paano pa yung internet? <laughs> so in essence, um, the scalar plot just shows us uh, the distribution of the data for, let's say, distance by delay. So as you see here, uh, here uh, this line shows us, uh, all right, on average, uh, this is how many flights are uh, there are that are, let's say, 500 miles away. So let's say from here to Davao, for example, in distance, okay? And on average, the delay shows us that there are around 20 minutes delay. So at the very least, it gives us the relationship between uh, the, the range of the distance traveled by the flights and the average delay for that first flights. <coughs> Questions? Yes? So, assuming I have a web application for a client, uh, he has a dashboard, so pretty, pretty graphs. Uh, how often should I, I mean, should I run the R script every time he like refreshes the dashboard? Or should I like have some throttling or something? Um, it depends on the the the, the business team. Okay, uh, if the client requires up to date uh, data, then you have to refresh the R. You have to run the R code again. Okay, if if it, the the report is only needed once a week, then theoretically you only need it once a week. Okay, there are reports that it doesn't need to be live. Okay, or they say that the daily report on sales. So in essence, you, that report is something to be consumed once a day by the, the decision maker. Because the decision maker will tend to look at other reports or other things to do during the day. Okay. But Michelle has more experience than that. <laughs> <laughs> the frequency of refresh. Well, I think, um, so particularly this, this plot, this visualization is static. So for, for dashboards in, in general, so they tend to be more interactive. It lets you click around, but there's more analysis that you can make out of the data. Um, R has another package called uh, Shiny, if you've heard of it. So it's really talaga medyo, ano na, a very high quality, very similar na to the likes of Tableau, Power BI, and all these other uh, commercially available tools. So what, it, what it's used for is different from how we will be using this type of visualization from a from a change cloud output. So if you're using a man, if you want to deploy dashboards in production for let's say management reporting, um, you can you can integrate that um, with your web application and the refresh lang you can either schedule it every five minutes or you can do other other forms of uh, refreshes. But typically for for the use cases when we plot things in in Plot. It's really for most consumption of the statistician or the scientists. Or for reporting, prep, static for reporting. For reporting, static, static reporting. But this is, this is uh, wow, so far my tech naman ito. This is, uh, <laughs> pa papasiklap talaga tayo ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our shiny. So our shiny, ganda niya, di ba? Hindi ko lang alam interpret. <laughs> o oh, oh, sige, yung mga simple lang muna. Simple lang muna na ano. These are like, these are clickable and stuff, right? Or, yes, yes, yes. Let me uh, show you other, other. Uh, but it can get look as sexy as that. <laughs> anyway, oh, it was a play. Play. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I use data set all. But it's not interactive. Interactive, yeah. Let's like say I want to group uh, the, 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 the data into, let's say, three clusters, or I want to group them into five clusters. Okay, so this is one clusters. Mm -hmm. 
there's that capability then within, within, within our if, if this is um, something that uh, you can also integrate in your web. That was yeah, yeah, they, 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 about the yeah. Yeah. And they show and they also provide the code for that. There, the code. You know, code yeah. So here, plot. As you can see, I think we're familiar with the plot. Clusters. K means that is a data mining uh, application for clustering data together. The, the, the data here is the iris data set, so it's basically available online. Okay? And then you uh, do the facto uh, data set that you want. Okay? Other questions? What's the UI? The UI is the uh, no, the server. Ito yung parang uh, yung scripting language. The UI is yung layout. Yeah. So meron kang header, tapos meron kang drop down input, tapos meron numeric input, which is the number of clusters. So the main panel is just a plot, one of one line for the entire plot. And it's free. Okay. Question? Yes. Um, is there any way that we can call packages in R to Python, or the yes. other way around? Yeah. Right. It's possible. Uh, there's an uh, R Python, a Python R package. R Python. R Python. R Python. Yeah. So you can communicate. Don't ask R. Yeah, so yeah, just install that package. Uh, it's work both ways. So if you have an R and a Python application, uh, there's also an, uh, a package in Python where you can have a pre written script, R script, that was, you just execute that script, then whatever uh, the code does in regular R environments will also be done in, in regular Python. You can also port R in the other way around. If you have an R, then you have a pre-written Python script, then you can execute the code. R can also be used in other languages, like um, Visual Basic. There is a code for that. In Java. Basically, uh, some of the commands in R are in Java. Um, the R Weka uh, uh, library. It's a Weka is a uh, is a sikat na data mining tool for classification. I use that. <coughs> yeah, Weka. So there are different R Weka. There are different um, yeah R Python, uh, R Plot, <laughs> other things. Okay. So you just have to know the package. Just simply install that package. Now, Shiny is another package. Just simply download the package and you'll be able to create these visualizations. Okay, from scratch. Okay. So in essence here, you can, you can put the data in the server and you can get the data from a database. Okay. So you, you can query the information in the database, process it in R, visualize it. That's also a simple uh, use case, the R. Okay, questions? GLM. Huh? GLM. GLM. <laughs> Linear modeling. <laughs> okay, so let's say we want to do. Um, Oh, so, so delivery time data. Recall that we plotted the delivery time data. So, tapos natin yung line type. Okay. So, as you can see here. <laughs> so, as you can see here. Um, we want to model the delivery time, okay? Based on the number of cases you are to deliver. For example, may bago delivery. Uh, sir, mapapadeliver ako ng 20 cases 
gano'ng katagal. So, this, if you can see this plot, you can estimate na, okay, if you have 20 case order, basically, it should be around 50 minutes. So, you can now basically use uh, uh, prediction algorithms, basically linear regression, to, to predict the number of cases. So, how do we do that in R? Okay, so this is where R is um, advanced as compared to other programming languages, other scripting languages. Kasi, uh, yung gumawa ng mga, R was invented by statisticians, so, ina-output niya lahat ng mga uh, statisticians na kailangan ng statisticians to do modeling. For example, uh, I want to predict, so, uh, let's create a linear, linear reg, so, a linear regression model to be equal to uh, del time from n cases and delivery distance. So I will predict. Let's predict delivery time from number of cases and distance traveled. Or data is simply delivery time data. Okay, then let's just say Anyways, um, let's go back to the So again, uh, we're, we're able to plot this kanina. Okay, so again, we're able to plot. So let's say we want to uh, create a linear regression model by predicting a uh, linear model delivery time as a function of uh, n cases for the data na delivery time data okay so the lr model uh, a command to do linear regression is lr <coughs> or linear model so i will predict delivery time from the n cases through the delivery type data na kaka import ko lang. Okay? So if I want to view this model, okay, ito yun. Coefficient intercept. So ibig sabihin yan, um, if you are to draw this in linear regression terms, so delivery time equals 3.321 plus 2.176 in cases. Okay? So this is my uh, linear regression model. Okay? So I'm saying that if uh, uh, n cases equals 10, so therefore my delivery time for that is simply 3.321 plus 
plus 10 times 2.176. Okay? That will be my delivery time. Okay? And if you are getting, you have a statistics background, you want to view it, the, the ANOVA table for the LR model. Ayan, yung ANOVA table niya. Okay? It gives us a lot of information that usually not, not presented um, in any other uh, programming language. Okay. So, yeah, yung coefficients, yung t-tables, okay. and yung mga, mga r-squared parameters. <laughs> descriptive style. Descriptive style. Yes, so basically minimum, median, resource. But these are basically on the um, residuals. Residuals. Uh, yung uh, predicted minus actual uh, performance. Okay. Questions? Name it. R has it. Salesman. <laughs> <laughs> Salesman. Um, Sir, Sir, yes. Sir, So, where do I start in order for me to understand the other step? Okay, so uh, if you have the time, may mga online naman na ano, uh, trainings na websites for Sera, pero rin kami sa YouTube. Okay? Okay, so, uh, plug to that. Um, the open, uh, University of the Philippines uh, National Training Center has uh, public trainings for uh, business analytics. Since me and Michelle uh, here are um, advocates of analytics, we are really pushing uh, whatever. We, hindi kami bias sa R, basta analytics. Okay, we want to we want the Philippines to be the premier go-to place for analytics education. Not that education, analytics uh, education and implementation. Okay, so uh, we are part of a founding group called the Analytics Association of Philippines (AAP). Taka ano na namin ng SEC namin na it's a non-stop non-profit org that to uh, to push the analytics trust dito sa Philippines, okay? So, that org naman, marami kaming in-network na trainings dito sa sa uh, sa Manila, okay? Towards analytics. Not just related to R, pati Python. We will uh, we'll diversify, we'll basically want to collaborate with it to foster analytics. Okay? So, if you're also interested to know more about R, but you Uh, GitHub and then all that stuff. You can copy codes and say, for example, kung na 
na this was able to produce this code. <coughs> Nakita natin kanina ang parang social media network. You can just copy the codes and then just replace it with your own data sets. That's essentially how many of us have to start that. Yes, using it's correct. So it's really more, we just we just highlight the importance of the basic concepts and statistics because you will be led astray kasi easily by the, the results that makikita nyo. Like, for example, makikita nyo, ah, okay, may lumabas na ng model, pero yung R squared mo pala is 40%. So why can I actually use this and, and be conclusive about you know what I will present as a result? So then you have to really yeah. let's say partner or work with a statistician. But it's it's really a very interesting interesting world. And um, as we have again shown earlier, it has a lot of business applications that uh, many of the companies will not really know how to really derive these insights without us extracting these types of you you might have the data science. It's, it's the the coding is there. Uh, we can easy, we can easily do that. But how do we sell it and how do we make it applicable to uh, the business need? You know, my Okay, it's the, the basically you know, the, the main knowledge and how to translate this um, this <laughs> output into usable uh, business decisions. You know. Major mahira. So maybe you can come up with a PowerPoint mood and okay, ito yun. as you increase the number of cases, two minutes you have done so 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 maybe you can start with that uh, analysis. So it's really translation of this into practical applications. Okay. Yun yung bulk of the time you have it. Of course data cleaning is also there. <laughs> and data but um, R is just another tool that you can use to to provide solutions to your uh, problems. If, if I may ask, you, uh, how many of you here are using Python for data analysis? For data analysis. So for uh, web apps, building web applications. Yeah, so you can, you can, you can import uh, a R graph. And then you can load it on web app. I've seen applications in there. I think Mamisha has already implemented a lot. Yeah, that's true. So, um, how are you the communicating uh, with Oh, that's okay. a good, good question. question. Can you know the so question? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will pass around the postcards. <laughs> yeah, if you're interested to, to know more about R, please join our meetup, our community. I'll just leave this here. So we, it's, it's very active. We meet every month. And uh, we like Greg, and see Sir Joshua. We have planted yet, like I said. So people who actually uh, have been practicing, uh, they share their knowledge, you know, share the codes and everything. Uh, business applications, very, you know, very technical, web related, web app related and stuff. Um, and um, admittedly, there's a lot of beginners to make so um, in our in our uh, member base, I'd say about mga seventy percent would still be our beginners. That's why us as a community, we're almost five years old here in the Philippines, and we meet every month. So yeah, religiously, we really try to meet everyone, and we want to promote the like, uh, the, uh, the use the use of R and, and analytics in general. So we'd like more people to know about it, but uh, just just for you to try it because it's really very powerful. And I'm coming from a private firm. Um, many of many many clients talaga need analytics, but konti lang kasi yung nagawa. Right. The so demand is really there. The demand is really there. So it's uh, if you know Python already and you use it for data analysis, uh, it's it's a matter of parang you, you can just call in our package or within our can call Python. But uh, to the clients, it will not really matter. <laughs> it's just that we need a, a free tool so that we can do so much more. Uh, for our clients, uh, imagine if they're not, if we have to pay for something like this, or they pay by SAS, SPS, and the likes. Because it's a statistical, ano talaga to, yun yung kalaban niya. Basically, SAS is, yeah, exactly. Yun talaga yung kalaban niya, it's not Python, it's not Java, it's really uh, statistical, statistical uh, software, MATLAB, and so on. So imagine if they have to pay for those, yung matitira for Consultants, for example, or developers or statisticians who actually deliver these types of insights. Oh, what they did because they spend all their money on the software. That's why we need to promote um, the open source R and, and Python for data analysis. So it can give you so much more. And in your, if you have, you know, your part of a startup company, 
Diba? Para nang mas marami kang ma magagawa with, with a free tool like this instead of buying um, other products. So yun. So, pag-promote lang namin that's every Wednesday that we meet for meeting on Feb 28 if you want. And that's really in Don Noir. And we're, we're going to be assigning um, mentors and apprentices. So yun yung theme namin for the next meetup. But you can really learn. Uh, hindi lang ito parang just attend once a month. And how can you really learn uh, are like that? Because you can learn your own. But if you have someone uh, to, to teach you, along the way to coach you, and so on, kapag wala kayo sa, you don't see each other every Wednesday, then at least medyo mababantayan yung learning. So we really want uh, we really want to democratize the learning in our So for next, we get the new slides niya. We can see slides and share it with us. <laughs> uh, but that's that's really our our vision. So hopefully you get it. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, another question regarding the uh, you mentioned that there's the quality packages available. Mm -hmm. Is there any uh, chance or at the current state, is there uh, among those packages, is there anything from the Marami pong nagko-contribute. Hindi naman marami as in ano, marami ba. Pero magugulat ko yun, marami tayong contributors sa our package. Yung teacher niya, the contributors. Teacher niya sa statistics of contribute. May, may, yeah. Dapat lang, kumulit sila. Meron din sa, from computer science, professors in, yung faculty natin sa UP and even I think in Pinatineo, may mga nagko-contribute. Yun lang hindi na market kasi masyado eh. So, I think it's really and currently they are for research like, to solve a specific problem. But you can, you can always come up with your own package and submit it. I think it's really important to mention that uh, um, there's a lot of contributors in the Philippines. Like, for example, uh, in Python, uh, there's a lot of commenters in Python. It is to contribute to the other people. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's the other thing advantage in our uh, because uh, all those packages, they are already able to solve these complex problems. So Python, kasi karamihan niya to, uh, you have to write it from scratch. Uh, not, not totally from scratch, but may, may mga basic functions that you still have to combine. So R, like so the linear regression modeling, you only need to call two lines of code to get the, the everything that a statistician needs to deploy a, a model. That's it. Okay. Some lines lang. Ready package. So, dito uh, parang nakahabol si Python uh, in terms of uh, analytics. But it's, it's growing. So, most of the most of the people who attend the, the meetups every month uh, are users. So, uh, these are people who have heard of R only through the buzzword na data science and the linguistics. Parang, parang pag-R lang, yun. Pero you know that they know or they want to learn how to do the science and analytics. So yun yung parang, I guess, uh, a, a big difference din no, sa Python community and R community. So may interest muna sila siguro on the research or on the client. But then, there are um, members naman like uh, si Rowan, talagang peer dev um, profile, but he's, he, he also works uh, also works on R a lot then. So, so yun yung ano, yun yung uh, it is a mixture of uh, yung mix of two files within the whole. Okay. Any questions? What else do you want to learn? Because I know we've been um, open until 5 p.m. Pero it's a linear modeling is basically uh, for linear models. So, like linear regression, uh, polynomial, per linear, per linear coefficient. So, there, there could be a lot. Okay, where the time series analysis is LM. But still, it's a linear model. So there are theoretically many models you can, uh, yeah. model types you can come up with. Yeah. This. So there are other commands like GLM, linear logistic regression. So uh, those are other uh, models that you can use. Okay.
When do you use which model? <laughs> it depends on the it depends on the the business. <laughs> So it's a four year um, course, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, usually uh, I ask the the, the the client what is the goes to result. Then we determine what is the appropriate uh, problem, uh, appropriate solution. My students can say para sir gusto ko GLM. <laughs> well, for what? You have to you have to match the corresponding solution to the problem. In the other way around. Uh, sorry, by time. You have to first find the problem, then look for the solution. If the solution is solvable by mean median mode, then why not? Okay. If it's solvable using a graph, why not? You don't need these high polluting models to solve a very simple simple problem. <laughs> solution na agad eh, parang wala pang problem. So that's, that's uh, yun yung sakit ng mga, uh, parang they want to impress the boss. Oh, sir, I used gradient posted, blah, 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 you see? These are, you know, in boss, you know. But, if you can simply show, okay, sir, your sales are declining, do something. Through a simple line graph. That's it. Diba? So, you should go back to, Ask what is the problem. Then from that problem, you can now generate whatever solution or to choose what solution you to solve that problem. I think no joke. Uh, or has it for sure. Para di ka yung natin. Kasi since at least in the in the world of analytics, di ba? Parang nakak nakakatawa na kasi na whenever there's a client na ito yung problem namin, di ba? We want to let's say for example find similar profiles to this type of customers or whatever. Di ba? We want prediction, optimization. Meron talaga si Mark. As in so far, hindi pa niya kami pinibigo. That there's already a package for that within R. And because you can imagine how many people with PhDs who've actually been using this since 1993, ilang problema na yung mataanan na nila. And then they were able to create packages for it. So tayo, in our generation, it's, it's we're very fortunate that these are all just going to be very, very easy for us to solve problems in speech. Need to Google it, di ba? So kami lang, it's just that we, we need to sort of promote it more so that more people can use it. Uh, yung pinaghirapan na buo in a ibang tao na is really, really right. very powerful. Konti lang muna ko And I'm sure, di ba, versus the Python community, which is really a big, big community worldwide. Ang dami nang nakakagamit kasi it's very, di ba, user-friendly, di ba, talagang developer-friendly, and then the communities are really huge. With our, my challenge of Kitlin kami doon sa pag-ano, not, not, not just recruiting members, it's not really, that's not the end goal, right? It's really making sure that this, um, that the power of this tool gets out and gets used a lot. So that's why, yung, 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 yung question na ano yung, ano yung mga klaseng problema or models na meron siya. Ay, machine learning, meron siya, universal network, meron siya. So, meron yan lahat. Parang ang, ang, ang tatanungin lang natin is ano yung problema ang kailangan isolve and it can be a combination of all these models and you can do everything. Yes. Yes. Is it the, is it the whole of generating something like us? I was not. Which is displayed as an animated video. For example, yeah, you mentioned a regression is a time series. So, here it is a time series. And I'm thinking about the problem. I saw it before. Amount of contribution per year for programming language frequencies in GitHub. So what are the programming language per year? And I am thinking to visualize it in a video uh, approach. Like for example, uh, this is the Python programming language and there's uh, 5,000 uh, contributing to it. So you can just, uh, in animation, you can just uh, say for Masha, you can just push your into it, just 5,000 into it. And after that, uh, the next year, for, for an analysis case, Okay, uh, 3,000 of it is done and they just build. Uh, so There's a package for GIF. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Simplest. But about the video, I don't know.
Yeah, yes. So parang may marami kang video, marami kang static na na graphs save as uh, 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 one frame sa GIF tapos yeah, moving mo lang siya. Because I remember that there's I don't know what the operation is that uh, I don't know if anybody else here saw that uh, it's a status of development, software development, open source development in YouTube that you can visualize the uh, progress yeah, yeah. 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 the the effect can be not necessarily a video file per se but the animation can be either a gif or yung parang when, whenever you scroll parang may may slider or something yung magalang yung charts yun that one sa so archive and then yun ay parang you just call at a series of images When you talk about uh, data processing by standard ano, uh, business practice, that's let's say 100% of the time, 70% is just data cleaning. The rest I model it. You model it because it's a good When you talk about data processing, it's ad hoc. Eh, parang, uh, unahin mo muna mag aggregate, then mag filter, then mag uh, ano, tapos mimalit. Filter na yun, tapos so it's hindi siya sequential. And, with, with, and you mentioned about imputation, it, de it depends on the the algorithm you need. So if you if you need to do it, imputation for missing data, uh, if you are to do it in a regression, you have to compare the data. So you you at the very least use the the mean or the median na pull mo yun to replace missing values. Pero kung hindi na mo kailangan kompleto yung data, yung data is that you can run it through decision trees. Kahit missing data, gagana pa rin siya. So it really depends on the, uh, ano, and there is no standard way to do data processing. It's ad hoc. So parang unahin ko to, unahin ko to. The objective that there is to come up with the data set that's compatible to the algorithm that you're going to use. Other questions? Uh, oh, sir. talaga. <laughs> 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 sir, kaya ba niya yung map? Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Check mo, pag may, may privacy issues ka <laughs> So, rocket na <laughs> Yes, uh, I need that for a client. Yeah. <laughs> 
So that's that's actually something that's not often used, at least for uh, for client client uh, client presentations. So what what they tend to do, para yung kanina ng RJ that uh, CC does show you, but it tends to be a bit um, hard to interpret. Then you know, hindi na hindi na siya. No, may siya na yung point. So the three D charts, like in, even in Excel, when you try to use the 3D pie chart, <laughs> 3D bar charts. So there, the intention is uh, to show different dimensions aside from the, uh, the two dimensions. Um, when it comes to, you know, when it comes to to showing more than two dimensions and the outputs, uh, we recommend other forms of you know, other forms of uh, charting. Uh, like for example, you know, using the one axis. Kasi at least yun mas comparable yung yeah. results or your trends instead of doing the parang area area map. Kasi parang nagiging ano yun eh. Uh, you use it maybe one time kapag maganda yung output but when they tend to overlap and much other. And it also depends on the team that you will have. So you try to plot it first. If it looks interpretable then go for it. But if it, it, if it defeats the purpose then you can change the type of chart. Yeah, that's a visualization techniques. Okay, so uh, let me try to run this. Well, let's show you the PowerPoint. Na lang. <laughs> <That was good. laughs> name of the company. <laughs> Yeah, it's birthday and two years ago. Yeah, still. So, ito uh, So, it was created using uh, our Google Maps. So, the heat map shows the warehouse locations of companies. Okay? It's uh, different parts of the Philippines with coordinates. Tapos, dito yung um, size ng sales nila. Okay? Based on... Uh, uh, side, secondary sales, tapos yung green ay yung warehouse. So, as you can see, may um, malaki yung warehouse size, pero maliit lang yung sales nila. Okay. On the other hand, ito naman sa Cebu, malaki yung sales nila, pero maliit yung warehouse. So, it depends to see na, okay, kailangan magtatag dito. Kailangan, dito ang daming red na lumalabas. Okay? Uh, daming sales, pero maliit na yung warehouse. Kailangan magtatag dito. Ito naman, uh, delivery area. What are delivery hypothetical radius? Uh, yan lang yung uh, range ng, uh, ng mga trucks sa, sa for delivery. <coughs> Tapos, yung size of the bridge circle, sales divided by the size of the warehouse. Okay, so, it gives us the, okay, pwede ba extend dito? Wala pa masyadong sales. Okay. So, I need a uh, uh, tool that you can use in R to plot uh, uh, samples. So, you have a file with a long lab for each of Correct. the Correct, yes. So, you have to fill up the file. Long lab. Tapos, may R Google code na ipapakita mo lang yung uh, ano yung uh, hangganan ng map mo tapos siya na yung mag-visualize tapos ipag-plot niya yung mga uh, longitude and longitude okay. okay ito pala yung 1 hour hypothetical radius ito yung mas maganda yung ano kasi paiba iba yung sales and yung size ng warehouse Questions? Meron na ba kayong one sa uh, stock market? Stock market? Uh, sure, time series lang po yun na analysis. Time series lang. Pwede mo siya i-download tapos ko. Ano yung mga 
This is Hasbro Distribution Center. Okay? Questions? So, ito, ito, this is a static uh, GIF image. It is uh, uh, interactive. Okay? But you can post this online through uh, the Shiny package so, with, with the one that wants to uh, uh, click on But it's not going to be buying that. But it's because it's a very static report. Lang. But this entire thing is done as one. You, you, you execute it. It's a function. So yeah, the flights, you, you group it by year, month and day. You, you just simply select two columns, arrival delay and departure delay, and then get average arrival and departure delay. Okay? So for uh, the filter, all of the days, more than 30 and uh, the, uh, in delay na arrival and departure in the third So the first day to satisfy that is January 16, 2013, arrival delay was 34 minutes and departure delay on average 24 minutes. So the summary is in one command. It's a chaining. Questions? So, <coughs> so, 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 Yes, if you, if you treat the, the per day as a, uh, a point in a time series, then you can simply plot the arrival delay through time. And that will be your time series data set. Yes? Are there any other things that you can do with the 
Uh, I can name around five for me. Uh, one is the player, uh, one is Arweta, that was Gigi Platt, uh, Shiny. Forgot it's very shiny. Shiny, tapos, uh, the rest I don't know, but depending on the problem. But for my teaching and my uh, basic research, it's in top four. The rest, naman kasi, the rest, like linear regression, I always use that uh, kasama sa base na art. No different path. It's there. And, yes? In terms of making the data start, mahirap ba siya? Or, kasi I agree na uh, medyo mas madali mm, uh, yung sa R because uh, m m uh, R has powerful indexing capabilities. Okay? When I say indexing capabilities, uh, indexing capabilities in yung ano di. Okay. So for example, I want um, I want sa logical vector, I want to select lahat ng is not an A sa vector na Z. Okay? So, si vector Z, meron siya 1, 2, 3, tapos may missing value siya. So, when you say what to do cleaning, you can simply select all values not in A. So, uh, Z, tapos I will index uh, lahat ng not in A sa Z, and then put that into Y. So, si Y ngayon, lahat lang ng malinis na thing na. So, that's one of the advantages of R. Okay? Tapos, uh, we only, let's say, I want to select only the first 10 rows. Hindi tan. Yun yun. I would like to exclude the first 5 uh, rows sa vector na B. Okay? And exclude any number. I want to remove row 4, row, sorry, I want to select row 4, row 1, and row 6. And put that in tab 3. Okay? So, yun yung mga, so, I say, ito yung vector mo, yung data. I want to select the first 10. Ito yun, I will be, I will exclude the first five. Ito yun, and I would like to select the first one, the fourth one, and the sixth one. Okay. So that's that's the power of, the power of art indexing. Okay, madali mo siya i play around using the square bracket notation. I want to select only these numbers. That's it. Tapos you can also do conditions. Yeah, factors na. So you can also do conditions like I, I, I will only select all x values greater than 10. So if, if I have this x value, x data, I will select all x uh, greater than 10. So this is true, this is false, 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 and true. So madali mo siya. Tapos itong vector na to, ipapato mo sa x. So lahat lang ng true ay yung papasa sa ito. That's the power of R, indexing, and logical vectoring. Okay? Kaya lahat ng tinuturo ko dito sa R is really by vector-based. Okay? Because you do manipulations through vector or matrix. Okay? Yun yung advantage to R. Yes, yes. Ano yung marirecommend mo machine learning for example, sa Python, meron kang psychic learning. Uh, Andun na halos lahat or maraming uh, models na uh, available. Marami sa R. Uh, my personal favorite is Arweka. Meron na rin... What is this? Maraming packages na ano. Uh, <coughs> I forgot the other package. Sheriff? Yes. Yes, Karen. Yeah. yeah. Keras na pa-isa sa another solution. Marami iba eh. So, just choose the... Uh, yung R-Weka kasi uh, has statistical uh, uh, performance measures. Uh, yun yung kailangan ko for uh, deploying a solution. Tapos, if you are to do linear regression, yung base R has the uh, default packages. And, uh, 
May mga iba packages na hindi lang limited to sa Arweka. You can simply download and say, we are to do a random forest. It's one of the most powerful predicting musical algorithms. Later, siya ang sarili package. Just simply download that and then install the package. Sky's the limit na nandito. And um, there's no right or wrong. There's no right or wrong package. Just you have to make sure that you are to be able to deploy that package correctly. Sir, take a question. I use R before, but I import it on Excel. Yes, that's right. So, usually, we match the variable or we have to edit it on the same way. When you say it's not match. So, it's not direct. It's not labels. It's not automatic. There are some additional commands that you need. So, when you say import from Excel, we read that in Excel as the file name. Tapos, sabi mo, ano sheet number or ano sheet name. Tapos, kung yung first row ng Excel ba ay labels. Or kung, kung hindi yung first row yung labels, sabi mo, ano cell ang first row first. After, after my import, may order kailangan sa by inline siya. Sa inline sa pag-import. Para madali na lang. Pagdating sa Excel, uh, pagdating sa pag-import, nandun na ka lang Uh, actual data cleaning na. So, kung may mga missing data, may uh, iba yung format, na hindi, na hindi, ano, uh, that's it. Uh, I tell you, data processing and data cleaning is 70% of the time. So, matagal na lang siya. Yung pag model ng linear regression sa upuan lang eh. So, it's fast. Okay, how to create an output of this PowerPoint sa oras. But the data cleaning is, uh, based on our experience, is really that the, uh, difficult. Hey, eh? questions? <laughs> yes. When you run the R script, you say it loads all of the data to memory, right? Correct. Right. So after the program is executed. Gets flushed out. Yes. Flushed out. You can save it, naman. You can load CSV. You can also save as CSV. You can also save the environment and load it later. Oh. As a file. Where do you save the environment? Anywhere. Uh, directly. Oh. Also, is it possible to like keep uh, keep the R script running or something to? No, actually, sir, when you when you load R, if you haven't executed anything for a while, it, it will not run. It's, the session is still there. But if you close the R console or R studio, it, the session will end. Oh. Okay? But, uh, but while that session is running, can I interact with it? Yes. Okay. So the session is just uh, in, in RAM. Uh, if you close the session, everything will be uh, done. Then you have to load it again. Uh, you have to load libraries again. After, uh, if you're not running anything, then R will just maintain the, the, the environment. Okay? Uh, additional processing by you if you run these scripts. Okay? So that's additional processing. But the, the, the minimum requirements for R to is in the memory. So, what cloud tools can we use? Oh, cloud tools. Robert, can you answer that? So, so, so I just increase RAM. That's it. Or more complex than that. Yeah, but there are also ways to where it you can use other packages, but it's more advanced. So, parallelizing. So you need to learn how to do the HPC approach. Oh, go. Something like using MPI, MPI system. Actually, the thing that's very useful now is using SparkR. Oh, they say R is easier. Spark is easier. Spark is easier. And it's a package name R with Spark. Okay. Okay. Good. Nice. Any questions? Hmm. Also, 
Microsoft. Yes, also a commercial version of R. That's uh, the way Microsoft distributed and not brand bound. Okay. It's a Microsoft product. Yeah. So it makes sense that server you read it through the server. So our our server added out today. So if you have a server, install the client the server over there. Then you can run commands in the server. Then you may buy it. Normally, we there's there's very few cases that you need this be distributed. Yeah, yeah. You should have laptops, sixteen gig maybe. Enough. Uh, the biggest uh, I did was for a though, around 40 million rows. Oh, okay. Kaya pa sa okay. uh, you're doing analysis, so usually it's... Uh, it's side, unless you're doing data, then that, that's what you need. Yeah. yeah, so this laptop has gone through war. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's uh, 12 gig of memory. Hindi pa siya naghahal. I don't know if I'm so proud of the data, but 40 million uh, subscribers can process. Mm -hmm. But it really depends on the data set. If you have numbers, it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. Okay, so let me transfer you to Michelle for closing remarks. <laughs> or <laughs> so we let's let's just recap. You you slide something in there. So we we wanted to I don't know. We're not uh, we wanted to introduce you to our to our world and um Siguro just to highlight, and I mean, this is R, which is mostly on the preparation side. You mentioned that uh, the codes may not be as elegant and easy, easy to read. For example, like why is type equal to <laughs> for line chart? I don't know. But uh, it tries to be, you know, it tries to be helpful with that. You obscure at the end. Obscure. Obscure. <laughs> we will find out. So the. The, I guess, especially if you're coming from the Python side of things, um, there there is really that overlap. No, if you wanna if you wanna do more stack based type of analysis, then you can try um, starting out by calling our packages to the Python or package or whatever. Para para lang kita niyo what you can. Because for data analysis, the man, and you guys are already using Python for that. Uh, yung mga hindi nyo lang mahalap na, let's say, specific stack functions na natin sa R, yun yung, that's, that's how we get the confidence Python. From, from the R side of things, we say, um, some of our devs, for example, we want to deploy uh, the models to production, Python na yung minagamit. Yung mag front na kami. And let's say, for example, we want to we want to run the, uh, the predictive models real time and say credit risk scoring and it's through a web uh, application. Then it was either web service or you know, like a sure component and stuff. So and then they are outside of our So we, we use it primarily for uh, what its strength is, which is on the statistical analysis side, and then complementing it with you know, innovation and then integration with other uh, environments in Python side. So we just, again, what we went through there, para lang, para lang siguro it, it sticks, it, it sort of summarizes the, the presentation today. Uh, we just want na you, it's, it's actually a complementary tool to Python. Um, and uh, we, we have um, a lot of a lot of use cases and if you're using that on its own, even on its own, you can try delivering some of the some of the statistical analysis on its own. And then when you want to deploy, then that's where this ecosystem actually works. Okay.
Okay, so thank you very much for your uh, attendance today. We didn't really expect this big of a crowd among the Titanistas. <laughs> Kaya it was a, it was a pleasure presenting to you today and introducing art to you. So again, please get ano uh, if you got interested, please get a postcard. That's where you can find. Uh, details about our meetup, <coughs> Facebook page, and you can uh, just try to join our meetups. So the next one coming up is on the Sorry? And then, of course, AAP. We have a Facebook page for Analytics Association, Association of the Philippines. If you want to learn uh, how to actually start a career in analytics, how to be trained, uh, if you are already a practitioner, then please join us. Wala pa tayo talagang medyo set na membership package para what do I get if I get to be a member but definitely you'll be part of an ecosystem where we will be uh, providing you a list of you know maybe training providers or companies to work for or you know whatever else uh, conferences such as just such as uh by quantity in and stuff. Um and <coughs> UPNEC, please, if you're interested. But the art is introduced to the, the courses being taught for statistical analysis uh, at, at the UP um, Engineering Center. So, Government uh, mandated training. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a three day course for a Meron din certification on business analytics. Also, open you also. UP Open University is an online course, and we uh, were, were resource speakers for um, analytics courses. And C C Rex also did our housing, staff. So, uh, if you don't have time. Uh, Open you will be opening a uh, online course for analytics. Okay. Uh, it will be mandated by the chat to recruit the analytics. So okay. uh, in, the, in the next few months, we will be rolling it out so it's for free. the public. It's free. It's okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.